<laughs> it's a win. I mean, it is, uh, you know, right now all we're worried about is winning games. I mean, it doesn't matter how we win them, we're just trying to win games. So, um, you know, it wasn't really pretty again offensively, but our defense is playing great. And, uh, um, you know, Kurt did a good job when he's in there, and then Dan came in and finished it up against like a replay last week. So, um, you know, I did a good job. Any update on Rocco? Uh, it's a high ankle sprain, so I'm not sure how bad it is or anything, but it's a high ankle sprain. We noticed on the inactives list that uh, Victor Williams was reassigned. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, Vic got reassigned. In our league, it's kind of a numbers game sometimes. We signed another guy because we thought we needed some help somewhere else. We can only keep 24 active guys. Um, so Vic was kind of the odd man out, so we had to do something with him. And I really didn't want to lose Vic. Um, but when we reassign him, it's like you're letting him go. Um, so um, we did reassign him today. Um, I, he'll get picked up by somebody, but... Um, you know, he's a great guy, too, so I hope somebody picks him up. So, Does Robinson and Harrell have a history at all that you know about? They seem to be going at each other. Uh, they don't. No, they don't. But it doesn't take much to get something going in our game. So, you know, I think the first hit when Robinson hit him up against the board, that just got things going. So um, they, I, I really don't think they know each other, but they acted like they did. So. Yeah. Whalen did a good job. I think you know he tried to force a couple at the beginning, um, and then he got put in that bad spot, third and you know twenty or whatever it was. Um, and we we're just trying to get. A, we weren't trying to get the whole thing. We we're trying to get a little bit of it. So he was kind of in a bad spot in his interception. Um, but then I thought he settled down and did a good job of just making sure we don't turn the ball over and keep moving down the field. And that's what he did last week too. Coach, can you talk to us about uh, Dan's ability to run the football when you guys are about to score inside the 10-yard line? You know, he, he, he likes to run with it, and he wants to run with it, so it's, it's kind of an advantage to have that. Um, plus, when you haven't played a lot, you know, everything inside the 10, there's so much timing in our league, you got to get rid of it, you know, like that. And if you don't, you're a little bit late, you're in trouble. So um, it's kind of a weapon right now until he gets a little more going and getting some more reps. So I'm glad he can run down there and makes it a weapon for us. Care to comment on the officiating at all? Uh, no. <laughs> um, it, I, I mean, I've said it before, and I, and I know a lot of these officials, our game is the hardest game. to. It really is hard to officiate. Um, it, it, there's so much that goes on that doesn't go on in the outdoor game. Um, so we know it's hard, but it just gets frustrating, you know, and I just get frustrated out there. So, um, you know, I can't really comment on it. It's just frustrating from my part, when, you know, when we're out there. Coach, in the first quarter, Troy Bergeron got that really nice kickoff return for a touchdown. What kind of a spark was that for the team? It was huge at that time because, uh, um, you know, I think it went. I think we went up 14 when he had that, so we get that two touchdown advantage. And hopefully, you know, we wanted to keep that going into half, and, we, and they caught back up to us. But uh, whenever you get a big play in our in our game, the crowd gets into it and everything. So it was a big play for us. All right, guys.